today we're gonna bring a smartwatch and if you guys can see it it has leather wristbands really inexpensive easy to set up easy to use multiple wristbands this is compatible with it you could buy yourself if you're not if you're not liking this you could buy different ones um, different brands or different marks either way now this is a nice little uh, watch to take with you to the gym because it comes with a lot of great features that are included in here and you need to set up on your phone so it could cross connect to it too also now the great feature about this is that it does monitor your heart rate and your steps and your workouts and your stopwatch and it just has multiple faces too that you have if you guys can notice i'm just going to show you a couple of them here so right now we are in the messenger area but you could scroll down if you guys can see the face and there's more if you guys can see night to day mode it has the night to day mode of course steps sleep heart rate and it has multiple, multiple features if you guys can see. So right now it's trying to actually uh, monitor the heart rate, but it's not gonna be on until I actually set it up. So uh, this one does not need any software. You could just get up and go pretty much, but if you wanna interact with the actual chat and everything else, you're gonna have to connect it to your phone. So that's another thing you can do. Now let's compare it to a Samsung Galaxy. Samsung's a lot heavier, just to let you know, a lot heavier than this one. This is really light. Uh, the face, there's actually more display on the actual watch than the actual Samsung that I have. Um, so far, they're pretty good. I mean, I, I haven't had any issues with either one, but this is actually inexpensive, cheaper, easy to take out to the gym. Uh, don't have to worry about damaging it or anything like that because it's ready to go, like I said. You don't have to really set it up on your phone, but they also give you a charging station, it's a two-prong charging station, not like the Samsung that it requires the actual wireless station. So, and it actually charges pretty quick, and this does not require any charging for a couple of days after that. So, we're gonna go ahead and download the app, and you open up the first page, that's what you gotta do. You take a picture of it. Once you remove it, it takes you straight to the actual application. So, we're gonna go and download the application. Very simple and install the application and just follow the steps from there.